Hey guys, it is Chef Kayla with Waller Ventures. It has finally gotten cold enough to where we can make some stews. So today we're going to show you how to make venison stew in the crock pot. So stick around and we will show you how. So for this recipe, you're going to need venison cube steak, flour, bay leaves, salt and pepper, olive oil, thyme and oregano, onion, carrots, sugar, tomato paste, celery, mushrooms, and potatoes. So this recipe also calls for red wine, but I don't drink wine, so we're going to try brown water today. So the first thing you want to do is brown your venison. So you're going to want to get your skillet, and you're going to want to put one tablespoon of oil in it. Swish it all around. So the recipe calls for you to put your venison in flour, salt, and pepper, and then put it in the skillet but I have done it both ways, so it really doesn't matter. Um, the purpose of the flour is to keep the venison together because venison doesn't have any fat in it and it likes to fall apart. But like I said, I've done it both ways and each way is, it works out really well. So you just wanna make sure it gets browned and not cooked all the way through because it's gonna spend the next eight hours in the crock pot cooking. So once it is browned, you can put it in your crock pot where are the next steps. So after you put two pounds of venison cube steak into your crock pot, you want to add your other ingredients. First, you want to add two cups of gold or red potatoes. They need to be peeled and cubed. Then you want to add two cups of mushrooms. Then you want to add one cup of celery sliced. Next, add one and a half cups of onion diced. Then you want to add one cup of carrot sliced. Next, you want to add one third cup of tomato paste. Then you want to do one and a half teaspoons of sugar. This step is optional, but we are going to do it. Then you want to do one teaspoon of dried oregano. Next, you want to add one and a half teaspoons of dried thyme. Next, you want to do one and a half teaspoons of salt. Next, you're going to want to do one fourth teaspoon of pepper. Next, you're going to want to put one bay leaf in. So in the instructions it calls for beef broth but it wasn't in the ingredients list so luckily I had some beef broth. So you're going to want to put one cup of beef broth. The recipe also calls for one cup of red wine but since we don't have any red wine in the house but we have some brown water I'm going to do a half a cup of brown water and hopefully it will add it a different taste to it. So your venison stew needs to be in a crock pot for seven and a half hours, but since my crock pot is only two, four, six, eight, I'm leaving it in for eight hours. And that will also give it time for the carrots and potatoes to get a little softer. Since this recipe calls for a lot of ingredients, I am going to make a PDF of the ingredients and the instructions and I will put it in the description below. So after eight hours in the crock pot, it is ready to eat. Perfect. So I'm glad I used brown water instead of wine. Normally wine gives the meat a grapey flavor, but the brown water, aka whiskey, 
actually it's honey whiskey, it gave it a more earthy, down-to-earth taste. So it worked out really well. Did you like this cooking video? Then check us out on our YouTube channel at Waller Adventures. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to get notified on when we post videos. Also check us out on Facebook at Waller Adventures and on our Instagram page at Waller underscore Adventures. Thanks for viewing the video. Hope to see you soon.